Here we are almost at the end of our Montreal Canadiens 2019 draft prospects overview. We're talking about probably one of the most interesting and honestly, one of the most logical picks of the Habs entire entry draft. We're taking a look at their next pick in line after the goaltender. We're taking a look at Arsen Kisimutinov, who was drafted in the 6th round, 170th overall, by the Canadiens. This is a weird one right off the bat, because if you take a look at his immediate profile, you take a look at it and you say, what the heck? This guy's 21. He was born in 1998. This is his third draft. Arsen Kisimutinov is a 6'3", 205-pound, 21-year-old left winger playing in the MHL in Russia. He played most recently for the Reactor Niznekamps. In fact, he's actually played with that team for the entirety of his availability of being drafted, all the way back from the 2017 draft to the 2018 draft to the 2019 draft. He's played for Reactor Niznek Camps, and he's been steadily progressing upwards throughout those three years. Now, in his most recent season, he was a total beast. 55 points, 26 goals, 41 games played in the MHL, and it's kind of expected. The guy's huge, the guy's 21, the guy is a beast. And as a result, he was actually promoted to play in the KHL, playing for the Niftekimik Nizamsk. And I didn't pronounce that correctly, for sure, but he played nine games at the end of that season, got five points as a 21-year-old in the KHL, which is fairly solid for a guy who played a small sample size, and overall... Kisimutinov is a player who looks like he could be a potential late bloomer to go into the KHL. So why did the Canadiens draft him? Well, it actually makes a lot of sense when you think about it. This was actually on one of the podcasts I was listening to, the Not Habinet podcast. This was a point brought up by their guest, and it was a very, very good point. This was on their draft special feature episode, so I'll leave a link in the description to that full episode. It goes over most of their prospects in the draft. But Arsen Kizamutinov is a player who, in the eyes of Russians, KHL fans, and MHL fans... He was mostly seen as a guy who could potentially grow into a KHL beast. And with success in the KHL comes interest from the NHL, but the Montreal Canadiens took advantage of the context. Imagine if the Canadiens didn't draft Arsen Kisimutinov and he became a total beast in the KHL. In his draft plus four year, he puts up, I don't know, like just under a point per game and he's a highly sought after 22 year old free agent. Well, he's got the opportunity to sign with whoever he wants by the time he turns 22. Because under the CBA, NHL teams can sign European free agents once they hit 22. They can't do that when they're 21 or they're 20. So the Montreal Canadiens take a bet here. What they're doing is they're placing their bets and saying, okay, if this guy becomes a legitimate KHL player and he's a really good guy in his rookie year and he's blowing away all these people and he's having all the attention, the Canadiens get first dibs if he wants to come to North America. Because the Canadiens drafted him when he was 21 years old They'll hold his rights for three years because that's how the draft works. And if he wants to sign, come to North America, he can only do that through the Montreal Canadiens. They have his rights, and they hold on to his rights for the next three years. If they didn't draft him, and they just waited to see if he would become good, then the risk for having another team swoop in and take this player definitely does exist. So the Montreal Canadiens, with their sixth round pick, instead of taking a guy who was only 17 turning 18, who had a whole bunch of potential down the line going to college or whatever, they took a player who was projected to play in the KHL immediately, and if everything goes right, could definitely be a highly sought after KHL rookie by the time he turns 22. This was a crazy pick, and it makes a lot of sense once you think about it. Kisimutinov, in the way he plays, he is a big six foot three guy who's got a lethal cannon of a shot. 
not in terms of the slap shot, but in terms of the wrist shot. He has a really good ability to move the puck, change the angle, take some really nice snipes on the rush. He likes to fake guys out and toe drag, and he can shoot the puck in a variety of ways, either on his inside foot, his outside foot, towards him or away from him, all on the rush while skating in a straight line. He's got a really good ability to absolutely release the puck. He had a ton of goals in the MHL this past season, 26 in 41 games played, and that goal scoring ability is something that could definitely translate as one of his more important and beneficial factors to his game. What the Montreal Canadiens did with this pick was they picked a guy and they said, okay, this guy has one really definable quality in his game that sets him above the rest. That's his shot. And if they're able to develop and capitalize on that one aspect, we could potentially be seeing a player who suits up for Laval by the time 2020-2021 rolls around and is potting up goals over there, and who could potentially put up goals in the NHL too, who knows? The track record and the overall projection is completely unknown for this player, but being a total MHL beast certainly helps. He needs to work a bit on his skating, he needs to work a bit on his defensive zone pressure, he's not the fastest guy in the world, but he is a guy with a lethal offensive laser. And ultimately, with his big frame, he should be able to power through guys, and he should be able to get shots off at will, but we'll see. We'll see what happens as he develops forward. Arsene Kisimutinov, the Montreal Canadiens 100th and 70th overall pick. Hope you enjoyed this video, social dash, social sign, and bye.